Hello everyone, welcome to this fourth part of our tutorial on how to create microservice based web applications using Node.js. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to make post requests to our applications, our application, sorry, using a software called Postman. All right. So let's start. First of all, I need to go to my my post root here, my slash book root or create functionality. And here I will call I will call this has response object and I will call this send method. And here I will send a message testing our book root all right now it's time to us to test it but after all we need to up our server open up our server to do it is very simple we just need to call no demo in my case i will use no demo to auto reload but you can use node if you, if you wish in my case it's better to use no demo and book.js and that's it our server is up and running let's open the browser and in the browser i i go to this to our application address and that's it this is the book service now i will access our book root here to test it Let's see what is happen. Book. And it get me an arrow here. Why? Look, our book root is the is the type of post. It means that we can we only can access this root through the post method all right every time that you you access an address here by your address bar in our browser in in your browser you access this address using the get method all right the get method is different of the post method the browser here isn't capable to access post routes to access post post addresses by the address bar here to access post routes in our application we need to use a software code Postman. I think that Postman is the best friend of the developer, of the Node developer who develops APIs or Microsoft microservices. Because through Postman, we can make post requests, get requests, put requests, and so on. Different types of requests. Postman is perfect to test and improve your API or microservice. To get Postman, you just need to go to this address here, to this website, getpostman.com, and here you can download the software. All right? Now, after you download it, let's open up Postman. It's a really simple software, all right? And to use it, you just need to set a method here, a, rec a request method, and a, a, an address to Postman make a, a request. So here, let's select the post method 
and let's grab our our book root here its address here localhost 4545 slash book it's the address of our book root and I will paste it here and to make a request is very simple you just need to click in send and that's it that is our response testing our book root amazing all right okay i will change this message here to make another test and let's make another test here and that's it our post root is working now it's time to send data through this request to through this post request to do it is very simple you just need to go to body here go to raw and here you need to select json and here you can pass json data to your application it's amazing so here i will pass a empty a empty json here on minute All right and i will try send it now to get this data that we sending here by postman we need to load body parser in our application if you don't remember we install body parser in the first lesson of the series so to load body parser is very simple you just need to create a const require body parser if you don't know body parser is basically a middleware from express.js to receive data from requests so through body parser you can receive data from forms from requests and so on through body parser we can receive json data that we send here in postman it's it's simply amazing all right so to after that we need to configure body parser to do it is very simple you we just need to to call app.use and here body parser dot json and that's it now body parser can receive json data by requests now our application can receive json data by requests all right now here inside this inside our our book root here we can make a console dot log and here inside here we can call the rack the rack object holds all the data of an, an request right so if i make a request here in postman send this data here i can receive this data through this hack object here so i will make a console.log.body to see the data that i will receive from my request in postman all right let's test it out I will make another request and here in our console is is our response our rack dot body so every data that you send here in your postman application is hold 
inside this body attribute of the rack object. All right. Let's make another another test. In this case, a more real test. For instance, title. and alpha let's make another request and here in my console i see the the json object that i that i send here amazing so in the next lesson we're gonna resave this JSON data and save to our database, all right? I hope you enjoy. And if you like, please let me know in the comment sections below